Hi, I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple t-shirt. It should fit 6 inch or 15 centimeter dolls, like the American Girl mini dolls and similar sized dolls. But before we begin, please go to Shellywood.com to download this free printable sewing pattern. There's a helpful link in the description below this video on YouTube. Use the pattern to cut out a shape like this. I recommend using jersey fabric for this project. Fold one sleeve. My thumb is on the sleeve in that picture. Normally we do a double fold hem for my videos, but for this tiny project, fold it only once. And instead of doing a whip stitch, Use a very tiny straight stitch. Hem both sleeves this way. Flip the garment over to see the finished side of the sleeves. Fold one side of the shirt so that the shirt back is against the shirt front like you see here. using a fabric with a pattern, it's important when you do this step to keep those right sides together. Again, if there were a pattern, it would be on the inside. Stitch from the edge of the sleeves hem to the underarm area, and then you're going to make a little turn. And from the underarm area, stitch to the bottom of the bodice. After you tie a knot, fold the shirt's other half, exactly like you did with the first half of the shirt. And again, you want to keep those right sides together if you're using a patterned fabric. Stitch along this side seam just like the other side seam. See where the fabric curls at the back closure? Right along there, create a double fold hem along the outside edges. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Folding once, and then a second time, and then I'm going to use a whip stitch. Insert my needle and begin whip stitching around the edges of the entire garment. I use a whip stitch here and if you need help with that, there's a link to a whip stitch video in the bottom of this tutorial. Now when you get to a corner, you're going to turn and continue and I'm going to show you how I do that. So you can see where I've been whip stitching and then I just make a little corner and turn the needle and begin to whip stitch from there down. When you've finished hemming, it's time to invert the garment. If you struggle with those tiny sleeves, try using a chopstick to help you invert. Add snaps in the back of the shirt and try it on your doll. There she is. For more free printable sewing patterns for dolls of many shapes and different sizes, remember to visit ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and my free patterns, please tell your friends about my website where you can find lots of free patterns for doll clothes like this little polka dot dress. Goodbye!
bye